how a global economy is in the midst of a radical transformation towards sustainability. But one of the largest sectors has been slow to change. Buildings alone are responsible for 33% of global emissions. 80% of a building's emissions are operational, occurring over its lifespan. 20% of the emissions are embodied during construction. Whilst many are focusing on making buildings and homes more energy efficient once built, it is also vital that we dive into the source, the materials. So how else might we build? Laminated timber, or LT, is the alternative building material du jour. It is sustainable, renewable, light, fire-resistant and cheaper than other materials. The Ascent apartment block is currently the tallest timber building in the world, with the upper 19 floors made entirely out of LT. And in Stockholm, developers are breaking ground next year on a 250,000 square meter neighborhood called Wood City. It will use more LT than any other project ever constructed. Hot on LT's heels is bamboo. Lightweight, strong and flexible, bamboo grows much faster than wood and pretty much anywhere. Although it requires more maintenance than LT, some architects are calling it the green steel of the 21st century for its ability to also sequester a huge amount of CO2. This Tiffany storefront in Singapore was built with nets and plastic fished from the ocean. It is the latest in a sea of similar projects using recycled plastic, such as these compressed bricks or the seats in the newly constructed Olympics arenas in Paris. For those projects that cannot be made of renewable or recycled materials, architects are wondering if hydrogen steel could be the solution. Steel production is hugely energy intensive. By replacing the coal-powered furnaces with green hydrogen, one could theoretically decarbonize this industry. Currently, this process drives the cost of steel up by one third, but experts are hoping this will level out by 2030. Every week, a new area the size of Paris is being built, with most of this growth taking place in emerging markets. Alongside energy efficiency and using circular approaches to avoid waste, materials are an important part of decarbonizing our built environment.